What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Heroic Expedition, and today we're going to go over the brand new event that hit, and that is the Cloud Top, Cloud Top Store Zephyr Merchants Package and Plume. So, there's a couple different ways you're going to get these guys right here. You're going to get them from, you know, logging in every day, uh, you're going to be getting them from Auto Battle, you're going to be getting them from Value Packages, so there's a lot of different ways to get them, but let's talk about what you can think about getting so daily rewards for logging in it looks like uh daily claim to get 750 so across the week seven days you're or well actually hold on let me make sure let me make sure it's a seven day event before i assume yes okay it's a seven day event the shop stays around for an extra day which is why it says seven days and 21 hours just want to confirm that but you're going to be getting 5,250 of these feathers across the week. Uh, from what I've been seeing so far in auto battle, it seems like you get five per hour almost. So what is that? Five times 24 and then times seven. So you're looking at maybe like another 840 feathers throughout the week. So that's like about 6,000 feathers. So what is that going to get you? That's again, assuming it's only about five feathers per hour. We don't really know. That's just what I've seen from the first hour. We don't know any statistics, but that means you're going to be able to get at least one hero copy. Uh, but that's kind of it. So what should you be purchasing from the cloud top store? Well, the big one up the top here for 10,000 the Twilight Nightmare Ore. So this is the brand new ore in the game. It has crit and attack built into it. And then the additional attributes are for every 15% of HP this hero loses, it increases damage by 3% at five. And then at 10, it goes up to 4%. At 15, it goes up to 5%. So this is pretty solid. Um, So, the first thing I think of immediately when I see the Twilight Nightmare Ore and the ability that it has, I my mind just immediately, immediately goes to one man right here, Karthus. Because Karthus, well, he does something very similar. Each attack increases his attack. And then down here, for every 5% of his HP he has, increases the hero's attack by 1%. So... It kind of like it, if he starts losing health, he's going to start losing this right here. Well, you know, sounds like with that artifact, it might help balance him out and keep him going. Granted, it's going to be good, I think, on just about any big damage dealer out there. It's going to be pretty solid. Is it going to be game-breaking? No, I don't think so. I think the other offensive artifact in the game right now, that is, where is it? Who is it? Do you have it? Yeah, right here. The Eternal Energy Ore is another really, really good one. A chance to get energy back, but it has crit and crit damage on it when you level it up. So that one's very, very strong. I think this one will compete. I do think it will. Um, but again, I don't know if you're going to get here completely free to play, honestly. We're going to have to see how the event works out. I've gotten about... It looked like we got 50 immediately upon logging in and claiming rewards. And then I got five in the past hour. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But if the math comes out to five an hour roughly, then you're probably looking at about 6,000 resources across the whole week, I think. Is that right? Somewhere at six or seven. It's not going to be enough, I don't think, to get this. But what should you be purchasing if you're not going to go for this Twilight Nightmare or Well, Alex is definitely a great hero to pick up. His shield ability and his healing when he gets hit are two very, very strong support abilities. Is he top, top tier? No, he's like, he's somewhere between S and A tier in my opinion overall. Another hero is Vesa. I don't think you should go for a Vesa copy at all. But who you should go for is Hercules because he's, I think he's one of the top single target damage dealers for like bosses, things like that. Um, one thing I find really interesting is I think this is still a typo. It's, it's been there since the beta. Deals damage equal to 200% attack to an enemy with 39% chance to stun them for two rounds. But if you notice when it gets to the higher levels, it says silence. Pretty sure that's supposed to say th silence because I've never seen my Hercules stun. I don't know. Maybe there's a way you can get it to happen. I don't know. Uh, but he definitely has counterattacks. He has an ability 
to prevent resurrecting in PvP as well. So that is nice. But yeah, he's another great hero to pick up. I would stay away from Alistair. He's not really anyone you want to go for. Um, I always say Moose Pull. I don't know. Maybe because he looks like a moose. Moose Pull? I'm going to go with Moose. <laughs> Definitely not him. Mallory has potential just because she has Entangle on front row enemies, which is three targets. So if you're going for like a CC build, she might be good, but I don't think she's one that you're gonna wanna use these resources for. Same with Harris, you're not gonna wanna. Granted, he's really good at tanking and freezing people in the front row. Uh, Musashi is pretty good. He does some really good AOE damage with his active ability. He does have a heal, he's great to pick up. Sarah is decent, um, not top tier by any means, but she does do damage to the whole front row, has a chance to silence them. Um, she's pretty solid overall. She does more, She well, when she has silenced enemies as well that synergizes with her active, she has a chance to stun them for two rounds, so that is a really cool ability. I just messed up the screen right there. My apologies, guys. There we go. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, Adele, mm, probably not one you want to pick up. Honestly, if I had to pick heroes that I would go for here, they're pretty much the light and dark ones. Alex, Hercules, uh, Musashi, and, of course, Sarah are the top ones. Would you use resources for summons? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it for the drop rate that they have. Um, gold, elixir, or coins and elixir, probably not ones you want to really chase after either. These are interesting though. Spirit stone. So these are the ones here that you need for your stone down here for the special nodes. The ones that require extra spirit stones here, the orange ones. I don't know if that's good value. There's potential that it will be. We're going to have to break it down and see how it ends up being in the long run. Uh, but of course, the other nice thing is medium enhancement crystals. If you still need to upgrade your gear, which everybody does, these might be a good one to go after with your leftover materials. Epic shards, nah, I wouldn't really go for them at all. I would just leave them as is, leave them as is. But really, if you can get to the Twilight Nightmare Ore, that is good. Now, there are some value packages here as well. These are buyable every single day if you buy all these hold on i actually haven't done the math yet <laughs> let me see hold on 1300 or 13,000 plus 7500 plus 1200 is essentially 21,000 per day now these can only be purchased two at a time here if you guys notice and then as you go down the list there the, they go up and up and then of course the last two are pretty much unlimited um so 7100 a day or 71,000 a day. No, no, I don't I don't want to purchase. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Yes, fail. Please fail. Um <laughs> That's pretty good. Imagine, okay, if you buy this for 7 days, that's 151,000. My goodness. That means hold on. 151,000 so that's 10,000 plus 8 or actually, you know, what? let me do this. Let me just do let me just clear this out. Let me do something real quick. 8,000 times how many hero copies are? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So even if you bought every single one of them twice, that's 160,000. So you could essentially buy almost two copies of everybody you need. So if you literally, if you're a spender, a whale, and you're going to buy everything, you can get the Twilight or you can get two copies of Alex, Hercules, uh, Musashi, Sarah. And then you could also really go crazy on maybe these spirit stones by 30 of them. That kind of sounds like a good investment for your uh, your tech, for your abilities. And then, of course, maybe you could do some other heroes that you might be building as well. But, yeah, I mean, it's... Is that a typo? <laughs> Blended events? Is that supposed to say Splendid and they're missing an S? <laughs> Ow, what are you doing, game? Come on, come on. Don't make, don't make rookie mistakes like this, so... We got the cloud top store. We got it in the game. Let's see how it works out. I'm hoping we get more pop-up events like this every single week from here on out. Even if they're free to play, getting a hero copy or like even getting like a uh, Alex and Alex or two, that's pretty good for free to play. It's gonna help you build heroes, especially if you're going for something like Hercules. Definitely what I like to see. The fact that you have to probably spend a little bit for the Twilight Nightmare or feels bad, but you might be able to get it. I might be undervaluing how many of these uh, feathers you can get every single day. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about the event. And I'll see you guys next time.
Thank you.